Music is the universal language. Today, the Internet is helping a new form of musical language to emerge, a language linking composers and creators together interactively around the world. We've come a long way since the time of silent movies. From the human voice to percussion, woodwind, and brass instruments, mankind developed music, a universal language that transcends cultural boundaries. The invention of recording devices allowed performances to be preserved and distributed, leading to the creation of whole new industries. Now digital media, distributed on the internet, creates the opportunity for interactive forms of expression. The music and the web overlapped is in some ways the most powerful language of all, because music is so universal, it's so tribal. And if you take a medium that's so global like the web, there's the power of entertaining and communicating on a capacity and scale that I don't think has ever been imagined before. But the internet has growing pains. Some say the web today is like a silent movie. It took a while really before the filmmaker's art became extended to a point where they could use dialogue and sound effects and music as a part of the overall experience. And if you try and watch television with the sound turned down, you'll probably fall asleep. So it's only logical that the web, which is possibly the most exciting of all of these media, should have sound absolutely as a core component. She blinded me with science. Thomas Dolby rocked to fame in the early 1980s with the MTV hit, She Blinded Me With Science. A musician and innovator, his groundbreaking work explored creative ways to merge music with computer technology. The motivation that really gets me up in the morning is to make a cultural impact. I'm really, I think, elevating the platform for interactive music. Cognitive studies show that in interactive communications you need three things, color, interactivity, and sound. People remember the song that they heard when they got married for the first time they kissed. Even though we assume we remember things better visually, Audio is very, very lasting. Now Dolby wants to sonify the web. His company, Beatnik.com, is among those developing the interactive audio capabilities of the Internet. Sonification met a new generation of composers and multimedia designers to score, mix, and distribute music over the web. The nice thing about Beatnik is that the way it sounds to you, the musician, when you're creating it in your studio, is exactly the way it's going to sound to any user anywhere on the net, regardless of their modem speed. It's very interesting to imagine what the next generation of musicians are going to be doing with this technology. The web is bringing people together as a community. It's like a whole new way of expressing yourself, and it's so exciting being able to mix songs in real time. You can turn anybody onto that. The power of the web and this new language of interactive communications is we're going to recognize the genius of many people who couldn't fit society's format for ideas because people can communicate in ways they couldn't afford. This. Taking a global digital journey. Together, we're the dot in dot com.